In this video, we have a triple integral that we're going to evaluate. So the dy here first tells us that we integrate with respect to y first. So we have the integral from 1 to 6, the integral from 0 to 1, and now we're integrating this with respect to y. Now there's no y's here in this expression, so this is just a constant. So when we integrate this with respect to y, we just get this times y. So I'll write it like this, 5z e to the negative x to the fifth times, and then y. And then y is going from 0 to x to the fourth. So we'll put the limits of integration here, 0 and x to the fourth. And then we still have the dx and the dz. And so now we evaluate um, this, this integral. Uh, and we plug in this for y first, we subtract, and then we plug in the 0. So this is the definite integral from 1 to 6. That's a lot of notation when you're doing these problems. So uh, it takes, takes some practice, 0 to 1. And we're, now we're going to plug this uh, in here for the y. So I'll write it as follows, 5z. Let me go ahead and put the x to the fourth first. So x to the fourth, e to the negative x to the fifth. And then we subtract and we plug in 0. But when we plug in 0 here for the y, uh, we just get 0 times all of this. And so it all goes away. So we're just left with the dx and the dz. OK, so now we're supposed to integrate with respect to x, right? because the dx tells us to do that. So um, in order to do that, though, here we have an x to the fourth, and here we have an e to the negative x to the fifth. So we'll do a u substitution. I'll do it up here. So we'll set u equal to negative x to the fifth. So du is negative 5x to the fourth dx. And then we don't have a negative here, so I'll multiply by negative 1 to make it match the integrand. So negative du equals 5x to the fourth dx. And so now you see we have 5x to the fourth dx, and that's equal to negative du. Let's go ahead and make that substitution. Oh, I almost forgot. Before we do, uh, we're supposed to change the limits of integration, right? There's a 0 here, a 1 here, sorry, and a 0 here. So we have to change them. These are x values. They're now going to become u values. So I'll do it up here. So when x equals, let me use a different color. Let me use this one. So when x equals 0, u is equal to, well, we're plugging the 0 in here. So we just get negative 0 to the fifth, so just 0. Likewise, when x equals 1, u is equal to negative 1 to the fifth, which is just negative 1. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here and rewrite our integral. So 1 to 6. And then let's see, let's be really careful here. Let me get a better color. Here we go. How about red? So that's 0. And when x is 0, we said u was 0. So I'm going to put a 0 here. And that's 1. So when x is 1, we said u was negative 1. So I'll put a negative 1 here. And now we're going to make the substitution. So everything should be in terms of u now. So let's see. We have 5x to the 4th dx. There's 5. There's x to the 4th. There's dx. All of those red circles are going to turn into negative du. So negative z e to the u du dz. And that should be OK, right? Again, the negative du became all of these red uh, circles, right? That's, that's what's here. 5x to the 4th dx is negative du. The z just kind of hangs out. And then um, the dz is, is here. OK, so now we can integrate. The integral of e to the u is simply e to the u. So we have the integral from 1 to 6. And we're integrating e to the u, so we just get e to the u. So we get negative z e to the u. And we're going from 0 to negative 1. And then we have the dz. Let me go back to a better color. There we go. Looks a little bit better there. All right, so now, whoops, whoops, whoops. Lost my screen there. Let me go back. And there we are. So now we're going to integrate. Now we have to plug in the values, right? So we're going to plug in um, this first for the u and subtract and then plug in this. 
So we have the integral from 1 to 6. The negative z, I'm going to uh, leave it outside. Okay, so negative z. Now we're plugging in negative 1, so it's e to the negative 1 minus, and then e to the 0. Well, e to the 0 is simply 1. And then we have dz. We have dz. Colors here are messing up. Let's try that. All right, so now uh, we integrate with respect to z. Everything else is a constant here. So when we integrate z, we simply get z squared over 2. So this is negative z squared over 2. Okay, and um, we have the 1 over e minus 1. And we're going from 1 to 6. We're going from 1 to 6. See if I can scroll down appropriately here. Oh, did it again. There we go. So this is equal to, and now we're going to plug in uh, the 6 first for the for the z. So it'd be negative 36 over 2, right? And then um, minus, and then it would be negative 1 over 2. You might say, what about the other piece? I'm just going to leave it hanging out there. So this is 1 over e minus 1. See, because this is, this is a constant, so we basically plugged in 6, we got 36, subtracted, then plugged in 1, we got a negative 1 over 2. Uh, and then this, this piece here is a constant. So this is negative 36 over 2 plus 1 over 2, right? So this is, let me write it, this is negative 36 over 2 plus 1 over 2. And then this is 1 over e minus 1. Yeah, my cursor is working better a minute ago. It was very difficult to write. I have to work on that. So this is going to be negative 35 over 2. Uh, and then times 1 over e minus 1. And that should be the final answer. Um, kind of a long problem, so um, I hope that helped. That's it.